morning from Co Smoothie. If you are new here, welcome to our channel. Um, so today we thought we have been in Co Smoothie now for about two weeks. Um, and we thought we would take you on a tour of the island. We're gonna go around in a full circle today. We're gonna start where we are in Chiweng. We are staying in Whispering Palm Suite. Um, it is really, really nice. We definitely recommend if anybody's looking for somewhere to stay. We are on our way to Grandfather, Grandmother Rock. They call Hin Yai Hin Kai or something like that. Something like that. So we've just stopped to get some fuel for the bike. Um, the oil is normally around 40 baht for one litre. Um, you can go and buy it um, on like, the side of the road, like basically every and any shop will sell it. But um, if you go to the petrol station, um, then it's actually a little bit cheaper. I think it works out about eight baht per litre cheaper. So if you're putting in a little bit more, then I guess it's worth it. Um, so we've just stopped it purely because it's, it's on our way. Um, so yeah. Just gonna fill up now and then get back on the way. So, you literally, someone just does it for you and then you get back on. Happy days. just arrived at Hin Ta and Hin Yai. These are um, the grandmother and grandfather rocks in Koh Samui. Um, quite interesting. I mean, I've never heard of anything like it before. We will show you why they are called grandfather and grandmother rocks. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Sorry I'm a bit late today, but here I am. It was a bit too early when we left, so I'm not exactly a morning person, but now, I'm alright. Not a morning person at half eleven. Yeah, that's says. that's still too <laughs> early for us. So um, I that's would let true. Libby carry on with the <laughs> knowledge that she was passing over to you guys. So please. So we're going to show you now. Um, it is free to um, come and see the rocks. However, you do have to pay for parking. I believe if you have a car, it's thirty baht, and if you have a bike, it's ten baht. So it's not a lot. It's not really a problem. Um, Moral of the story: get a bike get a bike not a car it's cheaper and it's environmentally friendly as well so you heard it here first the local guy that we met he said the mother rocks there the father rocks here, here. somewhere so we've come to Hinta and Hin Yai and these are supposed to be natural rock formations um, based on the male and female genitals is that the grandfather there then, is it? There's a lot of resemblance to uh, the real deal. <laughs> and that apparently there, for obvious reasons, is the grandmother rock. That's the one. Yeah. So basically, their son was of age um, to be married. So one day they decided to sell their boat to another place, which is where they had a future bride for their son and they wanted to go and ask the family permission to permission for marriage basically now when they were on their way actually there was a storm and their boat got into some trouble and the couple the old couple were unable to swim ashore and they died at sea which is why their spirits their souls whatever you want to call it turned into these rock formations it's actually a touching love story that is like even after death they're together very nice. Now, 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 now. Whoa! <laughs> There's lots of restaurants, little shops, little mm. stalls selling like dried fruits, nuts. There's restaurants as well. Um, there's obviously the bar, so if you want to come here and have a drink or have something to eat as well, then you can do that as well. But you don't need more than like 15, 20 minutes yeah, here, half an hour max. Um, so we're going to head back on the bus. So we were just driving past and we saw this stunning red, like terracotta temple. It's all 
terracotta coloured. There is literally nothing any other colour apart from Buddha in gold behind me. Um, but it is stunning. The temple is apparently made out of clay, um, which is where it gets its red colour from. All of the structures around are so detailed and so like intricate, and they all like, stand out from the wall as well. It's so beautiful. Really, really pretty. It's a very, very small temple. It's just literally the one room um, and the outside, but it's beautiful. It's based on, I think, lots of sea monsters and like demon guards. Very interesting. Give it a quick visit. It's free to enter. Just make sure you're dressed appropriately. We're in like a proper jungle right now. We are oh, indeed. Here comes a four by four. Cheers, pal. These roads are interesting. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Ouch. <laughs> proper testing the suspension. It is indeed. Of it is. This bike. <laughs> Fingers being put to task. He's doing all right. And the road's finished. <laughs> We're on a little track. Uh oh. Yay, welcome to Mountain Waterfall. Oh my gosh, it's down there. We've got to park your bike here and walk. So, we've just arrived at the top. We're parking our bike here. I think we are the only ones here. Um, I'm not sure if we're at Hinlat Waterfall or not. No, I think we're at Mountain waterfall. waterfall. So we detoured from our original worm, but just got a Fanta. So this wasn't even part of the plan. We had no intentions of going to a waterfall when we started off this morning. On our way down to the next des uh, destination, we saw Hinlat Waterfall. So we were like, let's go there. Anyway, long story short, we saw Mountain Waterfall on the way to Hinlat. Here we are. Um, <laughs> we don't have the right footwear either. We've got our beach footwear, flip Bring flops and sliders. And but sliders. it looks like it's going to be an interesting uh, journey down because it's on the side of a, a hill and it looks a bit uh, mushy and wet. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. But this is where we are Mountain Waterfall. Let's go. Had a quick Let's little pit stop this. to uh, stay hydrated. We're going to do this now. We are literally in the middle of Koh Samui, somewhere on a mountain in the proper countryside like proper rural looks like a jungle we've not been here we have been out at the tourist spots Chawang or Mainam, Lipanoi, Nathon but this is where the real course of Mui is up in the mountains up in the hills it just looks amazing I can hear the water down there somewhere I can hear it. just take a minute guys and have a look at the views here like being in a proper tropical jungle rainforest so where we stop to um, get some drinks uh, the nice lady there was saying it's uh, a 10 minute walk now if it's 10 minutes for locals or 10 minutes for people who okay. have never been here before we will soon find out <laughs> let's see as long as i can see a path it's all good if there ain't one we're gonna have to make a path okay 
How are you doing back there? You alright? Yeah, I'm all good. Yeah? Got your Fanta there as well? Yeah. <laughs> You're winning. Yeah, this is gonna be uh, this is gonna be fun on the way back. Where the fudge do we go? It's a bit sketchy down here, but definitely not the best choice for footwear. <laughs> I'm trying to stay on my feet and not on my ass, so bear with. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is fine. You got this. If I were you, I'd get rid of that <laughs> fancy can. You got this. All right, sorry. That's what lies ahead of us now. It's like being in Jungle Cruise. You got this. No, this is a proper adventure, come on. Okay, can I have a can? I can hear the waterfall. We're pretty close. Yeah, I can see the water. There it is. It's in touching distance now. Well, the good thing is, I haven't seen any snakes or anything yet. So that's good. Ha 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 ha. Let me just pay this out. <laughs> You got this. This is no easy task, trust me. Especially when you're wearing your sliders slash flip flops. So we're gonna try and get up there. But it has not been easy coming down here, let me tell you that. But it is beautiful. It's calming. And literally there's nobody down here. It's called mountain waterfall in Koh Samui Should we check and see how uh, cold or how warm the water is? Give me a sec, let's do it oh. It is cold Nice, I like this. It feels so good stepping in cold water. It is a bloody hot day. But we still gotta go up there. In the meanwhile, let's see where the lipster is. There she is. Ah. That's the main waterfall there. Woo! Good, good, good. Now get here. So she was trying to come this way here. And that rock is really slippery and it's got a bit of moss and stuff on it as well, which makes it even more slippery. So I've asked her to go that rock, that rock, big rock there, cross onto that one. And then here. Go on, you got this. Guess who decided to join us? You are here, how does it feel? I'm here, I'm hot. It's really hot though, isn't it? <laughs> so hot. But let's do this. Come on, now we're going to go up there. I'm a bit stuck here, but I'm gonna swing myself forward. Yay! He made it! So, you guys, I made it this side. We were, well, I was there. I couldn't get any further. I couldn't get over the wall, but done it! Now we're gonna go further back here and see what more there is. So, come with. It's so peaceful up here. Like the noise of the water though isn't helping. I do need a wee. And I have done since we came down. 
and it's just constant running water which is obviously not real but that's okay we made it I mean, in order to get here, it's quite a challenge, but it's so worth it. Uh, what would I give it out of 10? I would give it a solid eight out of 10. Because it's really nice. There was literally, when we got here, there was nobody here. So it's really, really nice, but to find it and to get down it, it's tricky. There was like four times where I was like, no, I'm going back, I'm not doing it, I'm not doing it, but we did it. Enjoy the views. We deserve an afternoon on the beach. I want to get a drink first, though. Yeah, a drink, and then the beach. I am spent. So, definitely on the way back. Oh. It wasn't even half as bad as it was going down. Banana. These are banana trees, by the way. And these are real bananas, people. Whoa. Seen it here first. Now you know how bananas grow on a tree it's really amazing i think we might actually go and see a few more waterfalls now because we've got the off, taste right? for it this was our first real waterfall wasn't it yeah it was this was the mountain waterfall we're gonna go see a few more not today though because now no. we're gonna go to the beach and chill out Wow, right. the island looks like a jungle here. Yeah. Oh, this is stunning. We're on top of a mountain down here in Koh Samui, in the heart of Koh Samui, not the ring road. And the views from here are breathtaking. tide is super super far in so we're gonna go and see how it is really but you can park your motorbike literally just behind us and then here we are it looks really nice there's some jet skis so i guess we can do some water sport at some point but what's it like we're just gonna walk well we have just walked a little bit along the beach um, there's all of these really nice villas along here, like right on the beachfront. They look super cute, but we're just going to set up our towels here. We are just sitting on the beach actually, eating our Cheetos. <laughs> um, and Made a mind-blowing discovery. Yeah. Tell them. Well, I did. Um, basically, we are sitting opposite and you can see it clearly like super 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 clear it is you can even swim it i mean if you're an uh, <laughs> adventurer then you can Imagine. even you can literally even swim it that's how close it is it's like in touching distance wait have a look Hello. Hello. see that in the distance there 
That is close. That is where the full moon parties happen, people. <laughs> and it's so beautiful. You definitely should take a trip. That's how close it is. So you can definitely take one of them jet skis there and head on to Kofangan yourself. Hmm. Like it's not that far. Like on a speedboat, it takes less than half an hour. If you swim, it depends how oh, good of a swimmer you are. Maybe three days. <laughs> jet skis, probably the same as a speedboat. But wow, we just literally we just realised that's Kopangan, and it's so close. Wow. We have had the nicest afternoon. We've just chilled on the beach a little bit. We went for a little dip with our feet in the beach. These dogs came over and started playing as well and they put their feet on Tassif and he like said no but to be fair they were stray dogs so he didn't really want to get too like close to them as such um but yeah it's been so much fun we're just literally packing up now there's Tassif in the background sorting our stuff out bless him um and we are going to take you um as it is a typical day with us we're gonna take you to the night market to go and get some food. Um, this is what we normally do. We normally, to be fair, on like a day where we're out, um, we normally leave kind of about 10 o'clock, which we did. Um, we go out to a few places in the morning. Um, we then head to a beach for the afternoon. Or like, look at late <laughs> afternoon. Um, I'm Sorry. back people, in case you guys were missing me, I'm back. Oosh. I didn't even see you coming. <laughs> um, then we head out to a beach like late afternoon um, and then we head to a night market normally to try and get some food. Yeah, we so, don't do any fancy schmancy, none. so we normally no go restaurants. for traditional stuff, really good, very flavorful local and stuff. it's the best. Yeah, sorry, local, traditional stuff, very nice, very tasty mm. and that is the real experience in Thailand. So we're going to head back to the bike now and then take you to Chueng Market. Guys, we are hungry. We're starving. But enough talking. We're really hungry. The day's been amazing. Let's We've had go. so much fun. Now, let's go and take you guys with us to the night food market. Let's do this. Hello, guys. Yeah. How are you? How are you? Oh, yeah. oh good. So, we've come now to Chueng Night Market. Um, it's open on a Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Um, I think from 5.30 until 9-ish. Ish. But this is our favourite. This is our local night market. It's literally five minutes from where we live. And it is so, so good. It's got so much variety. It's got literally everything here. You've got clothes, food. You've got music as you can hear in the back traditional Thai music if in case you're into that kind of thing but yeah it, we're actually feeling spring rolls right now to start things off and I'll uh, see how the night goes it's literally down here two minutes what more would you want So, to finish things off, coconut ice cream, no better way to finish off your Thai meal. Best dessert ever. Also, coconut waffles, they're really good. Coconut ice cream's bag in. Coconut water's really good. Coconut everything <laughs> is so, so good. Like, Libby has converted to a coconut lover now. She never used to I like am. coconut before, but she loves coconut everything now. So, Can't coconut ice enough. cream, three scoops, <laughs> fresh coconut on it as well. Yummy. Wow. 
inside. And and have this peanuts. Now. They put peanuts on their coconut ice cream. Mm -hmm. So I've finished the ice cream and see if we can eat anything else. I don't think we can. I think they're full. <laughs> We've just come over the road here to this little market square. Central Samoe. And we're going to get. Central Festival. We are going to get a Blue Hawaii soda. And this is Central Festival Samui. No, no. Mm. Welcome to Thailand. Thank you. Yeah. Like and subscribe. Like, subscribe. Thank you. is normally on the beach watching the sunset and then we head to a night market in the evening for some dinner but it's been such a good day i am exhausted so it's time to go home and watch some netflix so we'll see you guys in the next one if you like this vlog make sure you share it spread the word you know what the deal is like and subscribe <laughs> and we will see you in the next one <laughs>